what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are okay guys uh it is no longer news uh the constant criticism of uh reno or mockery to peter obi uh remember two days ago reno mockery according to him that he will stake ten thousand dollars uh, for anyone to show him the school Peter will be built when he was the governor of Anambra State. And then um, yesterday, Peter will be had to respond uh, in a press conference to Reno or Mercury. Of course, you can check my previous video on that. I'm not going into details of that. And then um, I was wondering, because people were also asking, I personally asked, why is Reno or Mercury and uh, the likes of Daniel Boala constantly attacking Peter Obi both on the mainstream media and the social media. You understand? Because people will wonder why these people, with as in literally all their tweets, not literally, um, all their tweets, you understand, aim at criticizing Peter Obi. Every step Peter will be takes, all their tweets, everything is about Peter will be as if these guys have nothing else to, you know, post about on their ex handle. Well, personally, I thought about two things. It is either, either they are benefiting from the administration or they are benefiting from the engagement. That is the monetization aspect of uh, Twitter. You understand? That was the two things that um, came to my mind. So um, just as you are uh, seen on your screen, Reno Mercury has revealed the reason why he constantly attacked Peter Obi, both on the mainstream and uh, social media. Of course, uh, from his ex handle, Reno Mercury said, if this man had only condemned his obedience when they threatened my one-year-old daughter's life. I would not have dealt with him like this. But he kept quiet and even subtly encouraged them. You guys rightly condemned the bullying at Lead British School. What about what obedient did to my one-year-old daughter? Today and tomorrow, you will know the wrath of a father. I can forgive everything, but not that. All right, so um, that is according to Reno or Mercury that Peter B didn't condemn the obedient uh, when they threatened uh, his one-year-old daughter. I think he's talking um, about 2023 election during the election campaign. I mean, but the election was over. Campaign was over. So I really do not think it has anything to do with threatening of his one-year-old daughter. I doubt that is just the truth. Now, maybe Reno Mercury, this is my personal opinion, maybe he's trying to divert the attention that, you know, he's not being influenced. You understand? This is politics. Remember, APC came into power literally with propaganda during 2015. They took over social media with propaganda, condemning good luck, Jonathan administration. We all remember, so I am not going to talk about that. You understand? Now, these are the same people that threaten, not even threaten. Remember in Buhari's administration, they banned Twitter. Yeah, according to them, because of fake news and propaganda, the same people that came with propaganda is now afraid of that same uh, you know channel that they personally use for propaganda they are now being afraid of it they had to ban social they tried everything to sign a social media regulation bill or whatsoever you understand but it didn't work when they saw it didn't work they didn't have a choice than to recover or unsuspend the twitter because people were using vpn they still access uh, Twitter. So I personally don't think it has anything to do with his one-year-old daughter. According to Reno Mercury, that he can forgive everybody other thing, 
but he cannot forgive this one. I mean, then why do you call yourself a pastor? Why do you call yourself, I mean, why do you call yourself a man of God? Because some of his followers see him as uh, a pastor, all right? Some of his followers, they see him as a pastor. Reno Mokri, I don't condemn, he, he, he does great, he do great things, uh, his wisdom word, motivational word, fine, I usually listen to it, but of recent, he has diverted those things into politics. He has uh, diverted uh, those things into uh, politics. All right, um, well, according to Reno Omokri, he has given the reason why he has been constantly attacking uh, Peter Obi, that it was because of the threat obedience gave to his one-year-old daughter during the campaign. So, is there anything, is there anything different or whatsoever? Has it changed anything? Well, literally for me, I think it has not changed anything because the more he keep posting, the more obedient, you understand, keep defending uh, Peter Obi. So that is it. Let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.